So I give this real quick, Joshua 24, 14. God told the Israel, said, choose you this day who you're gonna serve. Choose. There's always been a choice. From the Garden of Eden on, everything went south of the Garden of Eden, but God was giving them a choice. I like this, Deuteronomy 30, verse 19. God, I give you a choice between death and life, blessing and cursing. Now I call heaven and earth to witness, to choose. I said, oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. God said, I want you to choose. I'm gonna give you some choices. Life, death, blessing, cursing. Can you make a choice? Well, God, give me a few days to pray about it. I'm not real sure which one I want. Life, death, mm, mm, mm. Blessing, cursing, mm. I need to consult some people. Well, God gave them, hey, stupid, choose life. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the answer. <laughs> oh, that just entertains me. Philippians 4, 8, I just quoted, he said this. He said, fix your thoughts on what is true, what's honorable, what's right, what's pure, what's lovely, what's admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Don't think about the other things. Then this is Proverbs 4, 23. He said, guard your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. The quality of your life and my life is based on one thing, what we feed on. Now today we got media. You know, 100 years ago, media wasn't that big a deal. You know, I, I remember I was five years old before we got a television set and it was a big black box, had three channels. <laughs> three. And it went off at 11 o'clock at night. Well, now we got so many we can't count all of them. Hell's pulling on you all the time. I tell people, you know, people come for me to prayer because we do seminars, so many seminars every year across the country. And people say, Brother Joe, can you agree with me for this? I said, oh, sure I can. I love it. Uh, what scripture are you standing on? What? What scripture are you standing on? What do you believe in God for? Because God gave promises. It's in the Bible. It's free. Volume two's not coming out. He's sticking with volume one. <laughs> what? What promises are you believing for? Well, that's when things get better. Well, what scripture are you standing on for it to get better? Well, I don't have one. Well, it's probably not gonna get better. God doesn't watch over you. God watches over his word to perform it. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the weak say I'm strong. Let the poor say I'm rich. Call those things to be not as though they are. Well, it's hard, that's right. That's why God's looking for people who only want to fight. You have to fight the good fight of faith. <laughs> you're not fighting other people. You're fighting to keep your faith strong. How do you do that? Guard your heart. Watch what you read, what you think, what you meditate, what you listen to. 